Hello everybody, I'm Juan Fernandez and here's your CBS On The Go update. We begin with your CBS2 travel forecast. Here's meteorologist Amber Lee. Well, Juan, here's a look at the temperatures around the country. We do have some scattered showers in the middle part of the country toward the Great Lakes. Otherwise, things are looking great once we head into tomorrow as well, especially for us here in Southern California. Uh, this thing is not working. I don't know. There it is. Okay, can we try that again? Wait, why isn't this working? Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. It was working and then it wasn't working. Hold on. See, it's not, hold on. Okay, there it is. I don't know why it wasn't working. Okay, yeah, it's working now. Okay, try that again. Okay. Hello, everybody. I'm Juan Fernandez, and here's your CBS On The Go update. We begin with your CBS2 travel forecast. Here's meteorologist Amber Lee. Juan, here's a look at the rest of the country where temperatures currently in the upper 60s for Minneapolis, 78 for Kansas City, and 93 for Dallas. If you are flying to New York, we are looking at some delays everywhere else. Looks pretty good except for Minneapolis where we also have uh, some minor delays as well. If you're staying put here in Southern California, temperatures gradually warming up as a ridge of high pressure starts to move back into the area. By the end of the week, temperatures will get closer to the triple digits by the time we head into this upcoming weekend. Inland Empire will also see temperatures closer to triple digits by Saturday. Triple digits for the high deserts on Saturday and the mountains will see temperatures closer to 80 starting Friday. Thanks, Amber. Koreans have been eating kimchi for hundreds of years, but now the spicy pickled cabbage is getting really popular across the U.S. Chris Martinez reports that's good news for one Southern California supplier. For years, Scott Urban has baked bread in his kitchen, but he's now learning to master something new, the Korean dish kimchi. He likes it not just for the taste, but also the health benefits of the food's fermented vegetables. It's good for your gut. Uh, I learned that it's uh, high in antioxidants. Kimchi has long been a fixture in Korean cuisine, but it's now catching on in Western markets, with its popularity surging in the U.S. Foodies are fast discovering the pickled dish, made mainly of Korean radishes and Napa cabbage. 18,000 pounds of Napa come through here a day. A day, yes. Cosmos Foods is the largest kimchi maker in the U.S., distributing hand-packed jars from their Southern California factory. While their products were once only found in Asian grocery stores, they're now being stocked in a number of mainstream retailers, including Costco and Trader Joe's. Napa cabbage for tomorrow's production. Anthony Simmons says sales are skyrocketing, up 25% over each of the past two years. And I think this year we're also looking at maybe 25, maybe 30% more than last year's. Scott says he's always looking for new ways to enjoy his own homemade kimchi. I'll usually put it on a sandwich, like a grilled cheese sandwich or something like that, and it kicks it right up. It really kind of makes it interesting. A Western twist for an Eastern food favorite. Chris Martinez, Los Angeles. Now here's your CBS On The Go Sports. The college football season kicks off on Saturday. There will be two ranked teams in action. How do we know? Well, the AP released their rankings today. Take a look. As expected, USC comes in at number four. The Trojans actually got two votes for number one. The actual number one is Powerhouse Alabama, followed by Ohio State and Florida State at number two and three, respectively. Defending national champion Clemson rounds out the top five. Other ranked Pac-12 teams, Washington is number eight, Stanford 14, and Washington State comes in at number 24. Immediately following CBS 2 News at 11 tonight, watch The Late Show with Stephen Colbert. Guests include writer, director, producer Michael Moore. Then right after Colbert, watch The Late Late Show with James Corden. His guests include actress Nicole Kidman, plus carpool karaoke with Ed Sheeran. Watch Corden and Colbert right after CBS 2 News at 11. And that's your CBS On The Go update. Remember, we're always on CBSLA.com. And join us every night for CBS 2 News 5, 6, and 11.